Hey guys, so today I'm going to be kind of doing a follow up to my previous video that I made all about the uh, Minecraft server mods for Fabric and today it's going to be on Geyser because uh, recently I found out that it changed to Fabric or it added a version for Fabric and not just paper and obviously I don't like paper as mentioned in my previous video so I'm going to be teaching you how to set it up and uh, make it so you can play with your friends on Xbox uh, iPad and a few other platforms uh, when you're on Java which is obviously the better platform so the first thing you're gonna need is obviously a server I'm gonna be self hosting mine or I'm gonna be doing the tutorial on a self hosted server just because it's easier but if you wanted to rent a server I'd recommend kinetic hosting because their pricing is probably the best it's not like one of those you know hermitcraft people who recommend servers who give you like four gigs of ram for like 32 dollars a month this hosting platform is genuinely excellent i would really recommend it it has got 24 7 support as it says here and you can just chat with a rep on discord which is much better than having to share emails so that's one of the benefits of using kinetic hosting and uh I will have an affiliate link in the description which would help the channel massively if you use that because I will get a share of whatever you, if you rent a server which is a no extra cost to you but it does help me out. The reason I'm mentioning what type of hosting you're using is because to run Geyser you're going to need to set up two ports. So there's two ways you can do this, you can go to portforward.com and you can look up your router and you can uh, learn how to port forward via your router. This is relatively safe. I'm not gonna recommend it necessarily, but it is pretty safe. It's got, I mean, loads of guides on here. So just try doing it. If you can't with because of where you live, then that might be an issue and you might end up having to have rent a server. So anyways, so when you port forward, you're going to need to port forward if you're self-hosting 25565 and 19132 as your ports, those are separate. And if you are, using kinetic hosting for example it will give you a primary port and a secondary port you're going to want to write down your primary port so that could be something like 25560 or like 59 won't necessarily be 25565 because kinetic hosting will use one server or like one main server for many different um many different like individual servers so each port will be different it's very rare that you get a port like this. And then the way that you can open a new port, because you're gonna to need to do that, is you can go to the network tab right here, network and ports, and then just press uh, open port. If you can't open a port, it might be because uh, you're not allowed to, which is also another problem. So you're gonna to need to contact support and either get them to add a port onto your plan, or uh, you're just gonna have to, or else you're not really gonna be able to do it. Or there is a chance that you can do it on paper, but I haven't really looked into that. So anyway, you're gonna wanna make note of your primary port, which it says there. So uh, primary, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna put that down as 25565 because I'm doing it locally. And for your secondary port, just make a note of the one that you opened. So this guy here, uh, but for me, it's gonna be 19132. So anyway. Once you've noted that down, you're all good. And now we can actually download the mods. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, as usual, get Fabric API. So versions, game versions, 1.20.4. Just download this. I've already downloaded it, so I won't bother. Uh, the second one you're going to want to download is Geyser. These, these links will be in the Google Doc in the description, along with the like the text guide that I've used to actually speak this video to you. I'm going to download Geyser, so filter for fabric, make sure you do that, so press platform, fabric, uh, game versions, 1.20.4, 1.21.4, download it, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do that. And then the final one you need to download is a mod called Bloodgate. Now, Floodgate is required because if you don't have Floodgate, it means that Bedrock players can't join unless they've linked a Java account, which is obviously quite difficult if, you know, people don't have a Java account. So once you've downloaded all of these, 
you just gonna want to put them into your mods folder so i'm gonna do that right now and then after that make sure that your eula is accepted and just start the server once you've started it you don't have to stop it straight away but i'm gonna close it yeah as soon as it starts making a world so the next thing we're gonna want to do is go into config as a fabric then config.yaml i think that's gonna open it vs code yes it is so you could do this in notepad obviously you don't need to do it in vs code i just do because i'm like that so what you're going to want to look for is bedrock first we have here port now this is the port that you recorded for your secondary port you're going to want to put that there so copy that across when you change your server name probably will matter but you could just call it whatever it doesn't really matter down here you have the remote and this is what you want to find next and here just swap this port for well, actually you don't need to touch anything down here the port here it might not change if it doesn't if it doesn't work then you might just want to manually put that in and then auth type here it says if floodgate is installed and address is set to auto then floodgate will automatically be used so we don't have to worry about that then. but here you can find all of your different settings and everything that you want to sort out so right here show coordinates this is for bedrock players so they can see their coordinates and whatnot make sure you save it before you close it but now once you've set that up and you've changed everything you're actually good to start the server so we can start the server up so if i just go to multiplayer should be able to join there we are so I'm on my Java account and then if I add a server or actually I think I might have it set up here so you can see server address will be like your numbers so 192.132.blah blah 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 and then your numbers here and then your port is 19132 or your secondary port you wrote down so hopefully I'll be able to join you should be able to connect obviously when you're trying to connect on a local machine it can be a bit buggy um, I'm not entirely sure why that is. Uh, you could probably look up how to fix it. I'm just looking at a couple of Reddit posts and it seems like it's uh, slightly inconvenient. Anyways, you should be able to join on both accounts. You can also use whitelist. So if you whitelist people, you can do either F whitelist and then their bedrock name and it will add the bedrock account to the whitelist. And then you can obviously normally add other players. So the whitelist just like so that is the easiest way to set up a bedrock and java server if you have any problems there's a discord link in the description what i've uh, failed to mention so far is that as you can see here it says can't keep up is the server overloaded this is something that happens in a lot of servers mainly it's when it doesn't have enough ram but it could also be helped by using a few performance mods which is my previous video. So if you'd like to watch that previous video to learn what performance mods to add to this server, because they will all work with the um, guys that plug in at least all the performance ones as well, you can watch that video. There will also be a link to that in the description. So hopefully this has been handy. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And if you really like the video, consider going to my Patreon and uh, subscribing there to help me make more content and more tutorials. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, I shall see you next time I make a video.